One of the questions I get frequently from faculty is if they are able to edit videos that they've already created in Canvas Studio. The short and official answer to that is no. Once you've created a screencast and published it, then you have an MP4 and you have a video file. That file is intact and you can't go back and edit it like you can when you're creating the video. But a more popular answer is that yes, there is a way that you can edit your video even after you've produced it and published it into Canvas. It's just a little bit of a workaround, and I'm going to show you how to do that as well as some of the pitfalls to this method. So let's hop into a Canvas course where I can find a studio video that I've already published. I'm going to head to studio either in the course link or in the global navigation link. And I prefer the course link. I think that if you can find the course where you publish a video, it's just easier to navigate the videos that way. And so this is just a sandbox course, but I'm going to take one of these videos that I've created and I'm going to view that. And you'll notice that there's a download button. So I'm going to go ahead and download the video. On my computer, it just saves it to my downloads folder. Now let me hop over to Studio. It could be Studio on any page, on an assignment page. It could be a global navigation studio. But what I'm going to do is hit the record button and I'm going to record a screen capture. Now for this screen capture, I don't care about any of the settings really. I'm just going to go ahead and click record and I'm going to record for maybe one or two seconds. Again, it just doesn't matter what I capture. So I'll let it count me down and as soon as it goes, I'm just going to hit pause and hit done. So what that gives me is a two second video that I can title and upload. But what I'm going to do is hit edit. I'm going to edit this recording that I have and I'm going to insert the video that I just downloaded from studio. To do that, I'll go to tools, insert, and I'm going to insert a video. Now you can also insert a, an existing recording if you wanted to go that route. But I'm just going to find that recording that I have. I think it was called My Video, and I will open that. I'll click on the timeline where I want to insert that video. I'm just going to put it right at the very beginning and click OK. So now I have that video, and I'm going to go and cut out the other video that I made, that two seconds that I had over here. I'm just going to cut that out. And so now all I have is the original recording, and I can make my edits. So I can cut part of it out. I'll click Cut and OK. I can get other tools as well, such as including an arrow. You can move the arrow. I can have that fade in and fade out. And for a certain amount of time, click OK. Other edits you can make are putting images, random image from our Halloween last fall. I'll go ahead and put that in there. I can overlay a blur, which I've actually helped faculty do before when they're recording a screencast and they get an email from a student and they want to hide that email without having to stop the flow of their presentation. And so we'll just put in a blur. And then I'll click OK there. And so you can make a myriad of other edits as well. You'll notice that one thing that you can't change is if you recorded your webcam or if you did a screenshot and you have your cursor on there, you can't hide the cursor or the webcam because you're not editing the original video. The only thing you can edit are copying things, cutting things out, um, overlaying things, maybe changing the speed and the, the volume. Um, you can put narration in if you wanted to. You can change the canvas size, but when you've made those changes that you want, then you can click done and then you can add the title and then click upload. And that's one way that you can edit a video that you've already created in studio. One last thing I'll mention is that as you're creating your video, you'll probably want to use the same dimensions as your original video. And that's when you click on record and capture screen. For example, if your original video was captured in full screen, just make full screen again and it'll be the same dimensions. Otherwise, you might get, like in this video here, that the video originally was a little bit wider than what I recorded in, and so it adds these bars, these black bars on the top and on the bottom. And so to prevent that, you'll either want to change your canvas afterwards in post-production or make sure that when you're recording the screen that it's the same dimensions as your original video. This is a lengthy workaround, but it is possible to edit videos that you've created in Canvas Studio.